Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. So I'm going to open the final three figures from my episode one collection. Featuring Darth Maul, Obi Wan, and Qui Gon. The Duel of the Fates. In what is probably the best scene in the movie, especially the part where the um, force fields shut each man to like a different section, and you're just seeing how they are preparing themselves for battle. Darth Maul just stalking back and forth. Qui Gon quickly goes into meditation, and Obi Wan is just frantic to fight. So let's actually start with the young Jedi Knight, Obi-Wan. And all these figures look very basic to me. Um, there's not much going on with them. I mean, that was pretty much the case for all of these. <clears throat> I apologize for the noise. There's dishwasher running, and this phone's not that great, and everything else. So here's his chip. He, I believe, probably read this before, Jedi Knight Apprentice to Qui-Gon. Obi Wan out. And there he is. All these figures are kind of like gluey. I don't know if that's if they're always like that, like when they were first made or what's going on. But pretty gr kind of gross actually. I like that he actually comes with the lightsaber in his hand. That's kind of neat. You get that elbow twist that every figure has, and the static sleeve that is just stuck there. Which is really silly. You got the nice little braid coming down and then the, the tiny ponytail. But as you can see, the lightsaber is just kind of flipping and flopping all over the place. But nice detail like on the belt and stuff. And it's just like I said, the, the figures just feel gummy. And I don't know if that's... I don't understand if that's from being in the package for 20 years or what is the deal with that. So there's Obi-Wan. A lot of his... Jedi mentor, Qui Gon Jin. You know, now that I've gotten through all of these, I'm kind of like, do I even want to try to track down one of these um, talking things? I mean, I have the movie already, so it's like anything they'd say, I'd already. I don't know. I, I'm thinking I might just. Get rid of all of them? I'm not sure. So here's Qui-Gon, also with the random... At least his arm moves up. Also with the random elbow twist. The static sleeve stuck. His lightsaber actually is very tight in there. and it's But it's kind of an odd green. Like if you think back to like the original trilogy, you're thinking about Luke's dark green saber. I don't know, this one's just kind of light looking. He's also gummy. He has pretty much... No. His belt is different. There's more pouches, and it's just differently designed. Um, he's got a lot of movement. Arms, legs, waist. He feels very wobbly, like he's barely put together. But not a bad likeness to Liam Neeson. All right, and we will get to their opponent in that epic encounter that saw the deaths, however unpermanent they were, of two of the three characters. Darth Mauls, he at this point is a Sith Lord apprentice to Darth Sidious. And pull them all out. And there he is, and he comes with for the first time in this line, the duel, and I like how they, for once the elbow, like, and then he actually, actually has a wrist twist, which lets him kind of do the this famous pose from the movie. Actually, he's got it in both hands, so I could, but I think he did, did that whole, yeah, that was the one-handed thing he did, but you can... Like, go two-handed. It's very awkward looking. Um, he's got one of those 
big capes underneath, just tiny little legs. They don't move that much. He's got the waist twig, kind of. He's very, very stuck. You should. It'd be cool if you could just pop the waist right off, <laughs> like in the movie when he's falling down, ah, cut in half. Um, there's a little bit of head movement, not much. He's got a very static, kind of angry look and you can tell they kind of shaved the horns down they're not like they're not, not like there where they're literal horns with points um they're just kind of like bumps like a phrenology mask or something i don't know it's weird so all three not bad figures it's always fun to have lightsabers though and I like that he's got, yeah, he did not totally hold on to that. I like that he's finally got the elongated double saber. And I like that his wrist twists like that. And there's actually points on the saber he can grip that he has it quite tight. Um, not like Obi-Wan. So those are the final three uh, figures I got from Phantom Menace 20 years ago. When I started collecting these, thinking they're going to be worth a crap ton of money one day. That's not going to be true. Um, not in my lifetime, probably. So, I decided to let them breathe and open them up. Uh, that's going to be it for the Episode 1 videos. If you thought I had a lot of Episode 1 figures, I have even more Episode 2. But the cool thing about the Episode 2 ones is that... They spanned all the movies instead of just sticking to the Episode 2 characters. So I have a, a wide range of different characters from different movies. Obviously, I didn't get all of them. They're, the Episode 2 line was like even bigger than this one. But the details of the figures look even better to me. So I'm very anxious to get those out and just see how they're like. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, Putting up more videos lately. We're still working on learning how to edit videos. We don't have anything very good as far as software to use, and we are both novices, but I don't know. I'm a big kid. Savannah's a big kid, literally a kid. We love playing with toys and stuff. I just love looking at this stuff, and so that's why we do it, just for fun. All right, we'll talk to you later.